this video has been shared a lot on social media today and it's pretty powerful. A little bit of backstory. So, you know, I've been seeing some stuff circulating around social media and, and this was before and after the election where people are, are saying that, oh, well, with Joe Biden now, um, the left is going to go back to sleep. Um, and I tweeted this out last night. I was like, look, if a neocon like Joe Biden can put a movement back to sleep, there never was a movement in the first place. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I actually saw that tweet. I totally agree with that. Yeah, because these people are only out there essentially until their their team wins. So there really wasn't, they weren't out there for a reason. Well, yeah, that's the thing. They're like, oh, well, well some people are going to, they're going to go back to sleep and go back to brunch. And, and my response was, yeah, some people are going to do that. You're right. But those people, they're not falling back to sleep because to fall back to sleep, you had to have been awake at some point. And the yeah. person you're describing was never awake to begin with. So, I mean, what's the problem really? But here's why stuff like this kind of gives me, uh, gives me hope that that is certainly not going to happen. What was your new normal? Uh, so a black activist named Sydney uh, Teese, I, I'm, I'm guessing Teese is how you say it. She's been going viral because of this video. Let's watch it. Commentator on CNN said, uh, maybe you could finally get back to normal. And when I hear things like maybe we could finally get back to normal, I think what was your normal? What was normal for you? Because when Barack Obama was in president, I was marching for Trayvon Martin and Eric Garner, mm. and, uh, you know, fresh college. So it's like, what was your normal? It was never okay. We had people calling the first lady a, a monkey. What, that, is that the normal we're talking about? Is that what we're going back to? I'm confused. I don't understand. Someone that you don't know is where black. Good for her. Good for her. Yeah. Uh, she goes on Going to say, back we still to... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I was just going to read a following quote. Real quick. We still have uh, to do the work to dismantle the system that is constantly oppressing black, brown, and indigenous people. We have to make them uncomfortable. Uh, yeah. Your thoughts. I feel like when she says that they're asking her um, to go back to normal, it's the same as MAGA saying, make America great again. It's like, what was mm. good? It, I mean, it it doesn't even make any sense. It never yeah. was good. It's, it's yeah. good for the 1%. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, sometimes people forget Occupy happened during Obama. Dapple happened during Obama. Mm -hmm. The quote, normal, is what got us to Trump. And if we just go back to normal, mm -hmm. we're going to get more Trumps. We're going to get a lot more. And the mm -hmm. formula is already in place. Because guess what? Joe Biden is a neocon. I know a lot of people, they don't want to go that far and call him that. That's definitionally what he is. Joe Biden is a neocon. Joe mm -hmm. Biden is, is a lot closer to George W. Bush than he is to anything remotely progressive. That's just how it is and he's not gonna budge on much of anything uh so neocons lead to neo-fascists that's just how the formula works so when you replace a neo-fascist with a neocon like well okay it's not a neo-fascist i get that trump's gone i'm happy about that sure but you replace him with a neocon so you didn't stop the i mean they didn't the cycle didn't stop and, I, and i'm not blaming the people we didn't have a we didn't have a choice. We couldn't stop the cycle, but mm. we're still in the cycle. Yeah. Well, and what happens after Biden or after Harris, we should say, <laughs> really, what happens after that? It swings both ways every time. We're going to get somebody worse than Trump. And then what? Yeah. I mean, I've had very little hope in electoral politics for a long time now. And, and it, admittedly mm -hmm. it diminishes. Um, and, and so I don't have a lot of hope there where I do have hope, where I do have hope is in the stuff we were talking about earlier, uh, community organizing, direct action. That's where my hope is. That's important. That's just as important as electoralism. And, and I think we're, I think as a society, and I myself am, am guilty of this too sometimes in the content that I put out, I, I think we are guilty of 
um, over amplifying electoralism and under amplifying all the other things in the toolkit of change. And I, and I think that, you know, the biggest thing, the only thing I stand for other than love, I'm a love stand, Nikki. I think love <laughs> is pretty dope. I like it. Uh, I like love. That's a weird thing to say. You know what? <laughs> I love love. Let me correct that. I love it. Um, and I stand for a general strike. I stand mm -hmm. for a general strike and a rent strike. I stand for that. I think that's what needs to happen. It needed to happen last week. I get it's easier said than done. I don't have the formula for executing that across the country because we have a work culture where they set people up to be one paycheck away from going under. So how easy is it to strike when you're terrified of losing everything because yeah. you know, you're not being given a living wage? Yeah, exactly. So I get it. But I think it needs to happen. Ha has there been, have you been um, hip to any general strike grumblings? Like, 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 is that, is that in the conversation in Salem, like in your neighborhood activities or? Um, we have different things that pop up here and there, but I did hear, um, it was through Twitter, I think, that there's like a, just a general strike of on Black Friday, don't buy anything, no gasoline, no shopping, no Amazon, nothing like that. So I'll be participating in that for sure. Yeah. I mean, I know that they were hoping to do something like the day after election. And then I, I've heard some things in January. I mean, it, it's really going to take a mass movement. And, you know, you need, unfortunately, like you really need some bigger entities to kind of get on board as well. Like you need the people at the top of the biggest unions and, and some of those people, not all of them, but some of them are kind of a little more like liberal. And, and when I say that, I mean liberal in the Phil Oak sense where it's like, we got a Dem in the white house. We're fine now. Mm -hmm. and, and that's, that's the concern. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see where it goes. <laughs> Here's hoping, because I, I am a huge fan. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and 